pack rafting out of here. Our packs are bigger. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. Thanks for letting us drive you. <laughs> Have fun by yourself. Bye. Bye. We are very excited to be starting our next section of the PNT here in North Cascades National Park. We've loaded up the packs with extra food and our pack rafting gear. We're gonna paddle north on Ross Lake to Little Beaver, hike with the pack rafts past Mount Baker, and paddle down Baker Lake, Shannon Lake, and then we will float the length of the Skagit River all the way to Puget Sound. We're super stoked. Probably no one else has done this before. <laughs> if you've done this before, let us know. <laughs> We'd be excited to talk to you. <laughs> but this is gonna be an epic, epic section of this trail. The PNT Aqua Blaze. Here we go. Steep bushwhack to the river. our first aqua bushwhack. We have now finished three days of paddling on Ross Lake, the beginning of this next section. Paddling was a great way to mix up from walking. We got to use our upper body muscles my, and rest our lower body. My arms are tired. Let's go hiking tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no! Here we are at the Copper Ridge Lookout and we have decided that we pretty much are experiencing the best views we've had on just this entire trip. So if anyone is debating whether or not to do this alternate, you should definitely do it. <laughs> Well, cheers, Emma. We're living it up by Mount Baker here. Picnic table. We got kombuchas. Just really pleasant evening. Just gonna figure out a stealth site after we. Again, again, and are on their way with another paddle. Thank you so much. Good morning, Baker Lake. Looks like a beautiful day out. It's a little smoky, probably from a fire somewhere to the east of us. And this morning, we're just doing a nice simple paddle over to the boat ramp over there. So it should be real chill, 
about 20 to 30 minutes and then we'll head down to Lake Shannon. gated the nice fish hatchery road to Lake Shannon. The upper part, we're having to make our own way down to the lake, which may or may not work. We'll see. Bushwhacking time, let's go! Somehow, our bushwhack gamble has paid off and we made it to the lake. And it turns out bushwhacking with a paddle in your hand is a little bit more difficult. We are doing this in true PNT style. Bushwhack, rock hop, Making it work. We managed to pack everything up in the boats. Now we just get to paddle on this river that will push us to the sound. Seven a.m. on the river, almost ready to go. Word to the sound. Here we go. <laughs> So we've left the mountains, it looks like, and just past Cedar Woolley, and we're still on our way to Puget Sound, 9.20 in the morning. So we realized since we're floating here down the river that we can just eat lunch while we're cruising so that we gain a couple extra miles. So yeah, it just looks like a lunch on the go here. All right, time to go into the North Fork so that we're not going the wrong way. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so it's drawn a little differently on our 
map, but using Google technology, we we're able to determine that this is the channel that you should be taking to head to the Swinomish. There's a harbor seal swimming right there, up, but just one underwater. <laughs> So Emma, we made it to Puget Sound. Puget Sound! <laughs> Ooh, just a little bit more to go to camp tonight. Tide is much lower today, this morning. All that was covered in water yesterday. <laughs> and this morning the birds are just out and about. They're loving it. to the Swinomish Channel! <laughs> Highway 20, we made up the Swinomish! Back to the trail! So exactly 48 hours ago we left concrete and now we're back at the trail at March Point. A little busier and a lot of Seems like there's a lot more concrete here. Just arrived on Whidbey Island, so what better way to celebrate Whidbey Island ice cream? Bam! It's definitely an interesting section of trail here. <laughs> Nicely marked out, no bushwhacking. Uh, <laughs> tread is in very good condition, no blowdowns. <laughs> take what you can get on the PNT. Oh, thank goodness we're going the speed limit. This is our section stat summary from between Ross Lake to Anacortes. We spent 11 days paddling and hiking. We walked 92.7 miles and we paddled 104.7 miles. Paddled three lakes, one river, and one channel. We lost one paddle piece, but I gained a new pair of shoes. And a new paddle. Uh, we had four leaks in our boats and they were easily patched. Didn't really slow us down at all. And as we made our way through some pieces of civilization, we got ourselves four kombuchas and two pints of ice cream. Highly recommended alternate. Super fun, beautiful paddling. <laughs>